Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week we're putting some detail into the bus bunk. See you in a minute. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the devil's always been in the detail on any project I do. I find that if you just put that little bit of extra effort in, uh, you get a finished job that's far better than it would be if you just left it reasonably plain. So there's uh, a few things that I've done to the boss that just add a little bit of colour, a little bit of sharpness to the finish on it and hopefully we'll make it look a little bit more right when it's finished. So we're going to have a look today and see what we've done on those bits. Right now I'm starting to put the front of the bus together as a complete unit now so that this will bolt to the front panel. There's two things I need to do to this part of it now I think. It needs a badge on the front as a London Transport badge goes into there and what I'll probably do with that is to get some of the clear plastic that I used for the um, face masks and cut a triangle and paint that up to suit so that'll sort that and the other thing I felt was that it could do with something to make it look a bit more like a grill and I've toyed with all sorts of ideas, masking it out and spraying it, painting it black. I think it would be too heavy if it was all black. And then I found uh, some fabric on the internet. So I'm going to go with that. I've bought a metre of it. And essentially it's just like a net. So I think I'm going to get some of that and sandwich somehow between the grill and the front panel and get that into there and I think that will give me what I want as a, a finish. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to stick it down or anything. So we'll have a think about that one but that will at least get me on the go with the grill and then we just stick the headlamps on and we're the, the front panel can all go together. Now, I must admit I've cheated a little bit here. Um, I wasn't entirely happy with these discs I'd cut. They were going to be quite difficult to get the edges perfect. And some of the routing wasn't exactly right. So I've gone and bought a box of pre-cut MDF blanks. Similar sort of size. And these are ideal really because what it means is I can paint the various pieces like the headlights or the wheel trims and then I can actually paint some more to make up the thicknesses but it means you get a very nice line where the two colours meet which you don't have to mask off or anything. I just cut myself out a, a grill logo that I've downloaded from the internet from a photograph a couple of things wrong with it um, and in this case the problem I've got is that the front grille I've done that V is a slightly different angle and so I can't really reuse that what I am going to do is just cut out the center part which is the main logo it's not perfect but it will do
Now I wasn't really happy with the rendering I'd got of the London Transport logo on the front of the Routemaster. It was slightly too big I think anyway and the angles weren't right so I've painted the red bit on as you saw on the front of the grille. That left the blue piece and the actual London Transport badge and the more I looked at it I was not happy with a piece of card even though perhaps under a piece of plastic, clear plastic, it, it probably would have looked uh, reasonably acceptable. I just didn't really feel that was the answer. What I've done is I've found a little lapel badge on the internet and I've just broken all the back off it. So I've cut myself a wedge to the right shape, drill the hole in it because I want to feed some glue into it later and I've sprayed it uh, blue, dark blue that needs just a little clean up along the edges because I then sprayed it white so that I've got a, just a little bit of a white edge to it and what I'm going to do um, although as I say it's it's not quite as as right it's probably more right than anything else I'm going to just stick that on just hold it on roughly with some double-sided tape so all the double-sided does is just locate that in position turn it over I've got the little hole I drilled through spot a bit of super glue into there that should run into the fixing and then we'll give it a squirt of accelerator hopefully that will fix it on permanently a wipe and we've got ourselves one grill badge ready to go on the bus What I'm going to do now is sort out the number plates and such like. I, I class everything as being a number plate even though it's the number of the bus or the destination board or the actual front number plate on the bus. I'm using the same principle throughout. I'm going to use acrylic or polycarbonate, any sort of clear plastic. I've got a lot left over from off cuts of the visors we did for the health service workers earlier last year. So all I'm going to do with this is to spray the black, the back of the material black which will give you effectively a gloss black even if you're using a matte paint it'll look gloss through the plastic and it means you won't get any scratching on it. If I'd been really thoughtful and thought far enough ahead when I ordered all the lettering that I'm going to use, which is pre-cut stuff I've bought from eBay, I'd have bought that in reverse and then I could have stuck that on the back as well. Put that on first and then spray the black over the top. And what you end up then is the letters coming through right way round. I haven't done that, so I'm going to have to stick these on the top afterwards. But I've got a whole load of self-adhesive letters that I'm going to use for both, again, number plates bus numbers, destination routes. And then just take the film off one side and take it pretty much straight away to be painted so that you don't get any bits on the surface. Right now that's got the back covered in black I mean you could spray it black like that but the problem is it can get scratched, can get damaged. It doesn't matter how badly you painted that, if you'd have done it on a piece of clear like that you get a perfect 
shiny finish that's not going to be abraded by anything so that will be the front of the number plate and it's pretty much hopefully childproof right, there we are one front number plate you may think that there's an awful lot of fuss and bother doing something as simple as that when you could just stick anything on or not bother but to me a whole job on a thing, job like this is finished when you get something like that that just puts that last bit of bling on it Right, so it's time to put one of the rear wheels together. I've put two of the tyres, they're screwed together. Then I've got to screw the outer tyre to the outside of the, the inside face of the bus. Cut the screws through from the back. And we put the inner tyre on. It goes up underneath there. Builds the thickness of the tyre up, and I've got to cover up all this cross bracing part. I've got a cap for that. These could have gone with the screw, I suppose, but anything that's the wheel, the tyres will stay on now, but anything like this that has to come on and off more than once every time it's reassembled. I'm sticking with the bolts and stainless steel screws. Once again, total overkill, but that's the only thing I know. That's it. And then we cover all that up with a cap on the end. And that gives us the rear wheels. So in the front there's a slightly different arrangement because the wheel centre is slightly pushed out on the front wheels of anything like a bus or a lorry. Start off the same, do the inner on the back which can stay there once it's attached. And then the outer wheel goes on completely centre. It's a little bit simpler. And then again, centre cap in the middle. That's the wheels done. So there we are, that's pretty much it now. I've got one more assembly of the bus to do, which we'll do in the next video. We'll put the whole thing together, every last nut and bolt, see how it fits, take it all apart nicely afterwards and wrap it up ready to go down to Western. Hope it was of interest and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. We'll be doing something different and I'll see you then. Bye.